Welcome to this Farina screencast on graphing data with Farina. So Farina comes built, uh, built with some support for a third-party library called PHP SVG Graph, which is used to generate SVG graphs that can be embedded uh, in Farina reports. So uh, to, to before that, of course, is a third-party library, so we need to download and install that dirt separately. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that really quick. Uh, I just am going to do a search on PHP SVG graph, uh, which uh, there it is. Um, there's a wonderful little download. And we'll uh, go ahead and download the latest version of SVG graph. Now, um, Farina, uh, Farina needs... Uh, needs the uh, at least 2.10 uh, for for to properly support graphing. So make sure you get at least 2.10. Uh, let's go ahead and show that in my folder here. Oops, that's a little big. Shrink that down. And uh, so we're going to uh, see that we've downloaded that and I'm going to uh, extract that. And that creates uh, a SVG graph folder. Um, delete the old one and delete the old one here. And this is SVG graph. So we need to install this library in, in the place where Farina expects it. Uh, that is going to be in your Sites All Libraries folder. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to move that to my HT Docs, my demo Drupal installation, and we'll go to Sites All. Oh, and it looks like uh, we don't have a libraries folder yet, so we're going to need to create one. And we'll go ahead and put this here. And the other thing we need to do is, is go ahead and that. So this is the SVG graphing library. When that is properly installed, if I've done anything, everything correctly, when I go to uh, my reports and I look at the bundled reports that come with Farina, the master summary with drill down includes an embedded graph, and so prior to my installing this, this graph would not uh, would not render. But as you can see, we've got the PHP graph, SVG graphing library successfully installed. Okay. So having done that, now let's work with some of the data that we've already created. So. Um, uh, remember that uh, we've already created a couple of reports for the North Wind uh, series, and uh, we're going to use create a new report that uh, uses it's a graphing report that is going to be um, based on the the data block that I created in the last video. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to structured Farina reports and create a new report. Uh, this one will be called uh, orders graph we'll title orders graph I'll put it in the north wind uh, category and let's go ahead and create that. Uh, we're going to use that uh, summary data block that we created last time, the order summary data block. We'll go ahead and press preview. Uh, we'll see that we have uh, some of the data displayed. Um, and let's go ahead and uh, uh, change this to a graph or a chart. Uh, if at any time uh, you would like to see uh, whether or not the see the data that goes with the chart while you're building it, just go ahead and include the graph with the report and press preview and you'll be able to see uh, the columns that we have. So in this case, we're going to graph 
um, the, uh, the first name. And these are, you use the curly brace uh, token replacements in these, so uh, a lot of people don't pick that up to begin with. Uh, and then we're going to use the series is the orders. So let's go ahead and preview that. And this is being used as a bar graph, a simple bar graph. We'll go ahead and preview that. And sure enough, we see uh, a listing of uh, the employees and the, the employees for this and their and their corresponding total order count. Um, you could uh, we use the token replacement so that you could do things like concatenation. So if you need uh, uh, first name and last name, uh, both you could preview that and that would uh, go ahead and although they run on top of each other that would include the first name and last names associated with with the graphs so uh, that's that's kind of why that's done uh, so let's go back to our first name display and let's go ahead and change the graph type to a to oh how about a nice 3d pie chart associated with that and that will give us the Who's got the sales to the to all for all of these different uh, for all of these different uh, customers? And we'll go ahead and hit the add button, and that will add that graph to the report. So now we've created this uh, graphing report, uh, which uh, should work pretty well. Um, it has all the parameters in there, so if we want to filter on a particular customer uh, and we know the customer ID, we can do that. We can create drill down reports that point to this, uh, point to this graph. We can add uh, uh, filter criteria for this, so if we just want to look at those with shipping method 2, the graph will redraw associated with that. But there is one problem with this graph and that it's not really compatible with Internet Explorer and some older versions of Safari in that they don't render inline SVG. Now this isn't a problem with Farina reports, but rather a problem with support for inline SVG. As more people adopt HTML5, this problem is likely to go away. But in the meantime, we need a way to add this to a graph so that it gets used with the appropriate embed tags. So let's go ahead and go back to our reports and take a look at the Northwind customer orders report, which if you'll recall, we set up to allow us to display different types of reports. So our different, the, the orders for a particular, um, for a particular um, customer. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add this graph to this report as a kind of a different way. Uh, here we're going to um, go to the data tab and hit add data and we're going to use the customer block in this case not the one that the graph pulled from but rather the individual uh, customer block and um, we'll go ahead and hit preview and you'll see then that um, uh, we'll put a customer ID of rat C we need to display data in order to be able to include it and then, so this is just giving the rough demo information of the customer just like we were doing before, but it gives us the option when we were doing that to include a report or graph that we'd already created. So let's do that. In this case, we're going to find that order graph report and we're going to put .svg to tell us that uh, we're going to include this uh, graph or image in this particular report. Now we also need to specify um, the the customer parameter because we were working on that before. So here we want to specify customer equal to, and in this case, we're going to use the data from this report and embed customer ID here. And when we do that, um, if we uh, hit preview, we should see the embedded graph for those particular customers along uh, with, with, uh, with the data there. Uh, so let's go ahead and add that graph. That's what we want to see. And so now as we go back to the layout tab, we'll see the corresponding markup in the bottom of the report that uh, renders the, uh, the, this, uh, oh, oops renders the, the particular graph. Oh, here it is. 
um, it's just before the table. Um, so, so here's the the div frx equal include and the references to to the other graph. So we're going to take a look at this in more detail as we uh, as as we uh, talk about the uh, the the way Farina renders graphs. Really, when you're working with graphs, you know, using the the uh, this particular graphing library is a good way to get you started to begin with. But really, you want to do a lot um, a lot of the graphing to really leverage the power of SVG. You're going to want to do that manually in the FRX files. And the next screencast will take a look at the FRX file format and how we can do things like you know add legends and titles and labels into the SVG graph itself, change fonts, all that fun stuff.